Hey you going guys, in this video we're going to do this CNC router. We're going to put it together, I don't even know what it's called, it's a mini CNC engraving machine. Uh, I'll put some links down in the bottom in the comments on where to find it and price under 200 bucks apparently the everyday person can put it together let's see if i can do it first impressions looks pretty cool tiny little tiny little head for it there's the z section right there and the tiny little stepper motor on the top have a look at that looks pretty good so far it's a bit of plastic and some steel rails and stuff but uh you know you get what you pay for but let's put it together see if we can put it together at least uh put it to the test see what we can cut out of it and uh we'll go from there it even comes with this little desk light it's worth 200 bucks on its own Have a look at that guys, perfect. All right, so we'll put this thing together. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you with the step-by-step -step how to put this thing together. Comes with instructions. Um, I'll just do a quick time-lapse of it all going together and then uh, we'll get into a bit of the workings of it, what my thoughts are of it. Um, we'll get something cutting, get a couple of things cutting, maybe aluminium, some timber, maybe some tooling board too, so. Uh, let's get into it. couple of things first up I've loaded it I'll go through that in a minute um, what I've noticed is when I loaded uh, when I actually set these blocks up on the table hi, hi, here. Daddy, hi, Daddy. You want me to help you do that? yes please so when I loaded these um, when I set up these blocks they're actually too far forward so when I jog it forward and reverse it actually hits these blocks. So what I'm gonna do is move the block back one slot. One slot. I'll see if I can show you through here what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is this, this uh, table block was there. And what happens is it hits the stop before I get full travel on the table. So being such a small table, I want a maximum travel. So what I'm going to do is move that to there. That'll give me an extra 25 mil roughly or an inch of extra additional travel. So no, no. we'll do it on both. Top, both the top and bottom. Now I'm going to have to get these T-slot things back in. So it might be a little fiddly, but we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. I'll take it off for you. Let's try. Yeah, a little tight. So this is going to be fun getting these in, but we'll see. We'll see. Bit of fiddling around, but what I like about these T slots, um, majority of them are, if you put one in the wrong spot, you can actually undo it without pulling the whole lot apart. So it's quite a good little feature. All right, so a bit of a quick overview here. I've done a, I've cleaned up the wiring a little bit with some um, just off the, off the shelf spiral wrap. Here's the controller. You've got an on and off switch here. 
your power in and out here. You've got a transformer with a light on it that tells you that it's on and running. There's also a USB port as well, which plugs straight into your computer. So let's move this around. I'll, uh, I'll move it around for you from the laptop. We'll get some uh, motion happening. Let's get this moving. So we'll just jog it around and I'll push it right up to the front. Um, so that actually allows now us to machine right up to the edge of the table, which was the issue before I couldn't go right to the edge. So now I can go right to the edge on the table there. We'll jog it back the other way. This should let me go off the front as well. There we go, beautiful. So that gives me a heap of movement that way. Let's push it into the middle. And all I'm doing here is I'm actually jogging this with uh, the laptop keys. Move it over here, hopefully you can see both of it. And we'll go go across that way so there's no stops there's no electronic stops on this so if it does go over it will actually just hit and then um, stop and you'll hear this rattling on the motor on the um, stepper motor because it's still trying to turn through its steps okay so just drawing up this little bracket here so all I've done is a couple of uh, circles I've drawn that, let's extrude it and we'll get cracking. All right, so that's the part I'm going to cut. Well, try and cut on this micro CNC and see how we go. So that's it there. We should be able to get this thing going. Okay, so there we go. Cut out, so it cut timber okay. So there's the um, the aluminium one. There's the timber. So I only did it 10 mil wide. But uh, actually doesn't cut too bad. There's the clamp. All right, let's try aluminium, see if we can cut alley on this. Okay, so what it can cut, what it can't cut. I've uh, done three different types here. So Ali doesn't cut it. It just, a lot of vibration, just doesn't like it. Um, this one here cuts timber. So it actually cut out uh, the ply timber. This here tooling board, which is a, um, a resin based board, which is designed for machining absolutely awesome just machines up really nice
So smooth, you can see in there, everything's just super smooth. Machine's nice. This one here is the timber in comparison. And basically put them together, bolt in the middle, and there's your clamp. So cup, run two hoses through there, holds the hoses apart nice, uh, nice and neat. So, so yeah, that's it. There. So this micro CNC can actually do some stuff for you. It can cut some material, can cut timber, can cut tooling board really nicely. Won't do that, but didn't expect it to. Um, I even went down to 0.1 cuts on this and it just didn't like it. I could probably go less. Um, this, this here, the tooling board, I was cutting it at half a mil step downs. So it was so was the timber half a mil step down and uh, comes up nice. So like I said before, link to all this stuff in the description below. I'll put some uh, timestamps in so you can uh, skip to the bits that you like and uh, we will catch you on the next one.